Microphone's not working and that's fine. Just move closer if you can't hear the speakers. <laughs> Welcome to our <coughs> watershed seminar this morning. You know, sometimes you realize that you're preaching to the choir and that's what we have today. But, to me, the importance of water is, is so critical that it, it doesn't matter whether we talk to our friends or not. We just need to talk about it and the old osmosis thing is going to work and you'll tell somebody else and they'll tell somebody else and uh, I know for a fact that that works because uh, about three or four months ago I saw Virginia Pennington with her rain boots on in the pond at the Fullwood Garden Center and uh, two weeks ago my wife told me that she went out and bought a pair of rain boots so she could get in the pond with Virginia and, 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 and I'm sure that that rain boots was the furthest thing from her mind probably for the first 76 years of her life. But now all once green boots are important. And it's because somebody else was talking about it and she saw it talking in, in action. Welcome to NESPAL and welcome to the WALLS Watershed Coalition. Now WALLS stands for the Willacoochee with Lacoochee, Alapaha and Little River System Watershed Coalition. Now as you know, the Flint River to our west has a full-time river keeper. And the Satella River to our east has a full-time river keeper. The four watersheds or four rivers that flow where we live, everybody in here, between those two major rivers, no one has paid any attention to historically. And so a June and year ago, we established a little working group to explore the idea of starting to take on that responsibility. And in June of 2013, we had our first annual meeting, and we're moving along smartly. And part of our mission, of course, is to educate the public. Now, that is uh, Fox News from Albany out there interviewing John that just finished with, with Gordon and Neil. Uh, I did not know they were coming, but that's good. That's a good kind of surprise to have. Um, oftentimes, as Joe Lewis said, oftentimes the guy that's in second place is working harder than the guy in first place. So, you know, we call it WLB and sometimes they show, sometimes they don't. But Fox is here, so we'll take advantage of that opportunity. And we'll let him get some information to put on, on the net, and then we'll follow up and, and hopefully get some of that video which we can use in follow-on events. We have nine folks on our, our, our board of directors. I'm the president, John Quarterman, who's being interviewed as we speak as vice. Heather Brazel is the secretary. Gretchen Quarterman over here doing the filming is the, the treasurer. Brett Wagonhorse from Tiff County. Gary Gentry from Tiff County standing in the door back here. Karen Rollins from Tiff County. Uh, Al Browning from um, Barron County, Heather Russell is from uh, Barron County, and our newest appointee is April Huntley from Lanier County. So we're starting to get representation from throughout the, uh, the region. So we would like to welcome you all, ask you to take copious notes, and ask any question that's on your heart. Uh, we, want, we want to share information, we want you to have a chance to gather information, which means we need to share information. Now we delayed our start a little bit to get some of this uh, important PR stuff out of the way. And so moving right along then, our first speaker will be Gordon Rogers. And as the slide says behind me, he is the river keeper for the Flint River. He brought with him his his guidance and his chaperone, Gina, put up your hand, baby, right here. Uh, some of us can relate to their family situation. They just put their first baby away at college yesterday. So I know that they will have an empty nest syndrome. Partially, there's still more at home. But that's an experience that you, you only have one time, taking that first one away. And we see it on our, uh, with one of our grandchildren. Um, we have a grandson who just graduated from high school, and he's a freshman at UGA. And we have talked through the years that uh, 
he sort of did his own thing, and as he said, his family was somewhat dysfunctional, and now we find out that every three or four days his mom was going to Athens. Well, I don't know why, but that's okay. I mean, it either hadn't been that relationship, but all at once it is, and I'm sure that's what it is, and she realizes that she should have done a little more mothering, and she's trying to reach out and, and tie up those apron strings. But, you know, we all feel that. So, uh, Gordon, I'm going to let you have that, my man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Yes,